for being a truer saying. The cost of renting in the United States climbing 14 percent since 2010. This is according to a new report. That is four percentage points faster than inflation. One reason to blame or thank for that increased rent is increased rent and demand. Maybe the millennials who are preferring to rent over buy right now. Joan Caymans is a real estate agent in the greater Philadelphia area with Coldwell Banker Hearthside. She's got many uh, millennial clients. And Nita Mogalkar is a millennial herself and a real estate agent with Mirador in Manhattan. Welcome to both of you. Good to have you here. Uh, Joan, what do millennials want to be Freudian about it? Millennials want everything in perfect condition and they want it they immediately. Want everything perfect. Perfect. They want it perfect. They, they don't, don't want, want fixer uppers. No fixer uppers. And they want to spend what they can spend and move in and be done with their expenses. So back in the day, we bought a house and we had an idea of we'll do this over time and spend X amount and repair and replace. But they move in and that's the end of it. And Nita, should we be surprised that millennials are maybe more inclined to rent than buy? I would think that it's always been roughly that case, that people in their early to mid-20s to early 30s, they're, they're not settling down. They're at a point of high mobility in their careers. They are probably more likely not to be uh, uh, married or have children, which would be one of the precipitating events that would cause you to buy something and sink in roots. I think that it's quite interesting because millennials crave flexibility. We've been burned in the past by contracts. And I think things as simple as a cell phone contract or even something as intensive as a student loan um, has made us a little less inclined to want the commitment that comes along with heavier purchases like buying a home. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the broader implications, therefore, for, say, if you wanted to invest in a property, and taking some of the, the findings that you and Nita also have about millennials buying or renting habits, what are the implications for someone looking to get into the real estate market? Well, I think that it's, it, there, it's an investment, and it's not a liquid investment. And I think millennials today have their 401ks, and they have many things that the baby boomer generation didn't have as well in terms of investing. So we put our money in our real estate with the idea that at the end of the day, we would have that equity and we would have that. Now, they've seen the changes in the market, and they've seen, I have seen clients who, after living in a property and have to move, walk away with no profit. Mm -hmm. So the question becomes, I'm putting all this money in, and what am I really walking away with? Mm -hmm. If I rent something, I have the mobility. In addition, they're in the cities with jobs and they don't want to commute. Mm -hmm. So the factors of commuting and buying a home out, getting more value for your money, all relate. Nita, I live by Matheson's Law, which is that when I buy real estate in a marketplace, that is the top. That is absolutely <laughs> the zenith. Uh, my question for you, you're a millennial. Do you own or buy and why? I rent and it's because I can't fathom the idea of committing to something long term when I haven't figured out my own sensibilities yet instead. Um, what I mean by that is I think I'm not settled, I'm not married, I don't have kids, so why should I commit to a long-term home in any city without the knowledge of where I'm going to end up? But Nita, do you have it in your mind that when you do get married and potentially have children that you would like to have a home that you own with a backyard, etc.? I don't know. I think it's all experience driven. Our generation looks at things via the experience we get from that asset. So uh -huh. for example, yeah. um, I bought an expensive handbag when I went to Cape Town, South Africa. I haven't bought an expensive handbag in 20 years. The only reason I bought it in South Cape Town, South Africa is because I wanted to remember my experience there in addition to the fact that I had the asset. Right, All right. I want a quick I question for you. Uh, we baby boomers are praying that the millennials get the housing, the buy house Jones, because that's the only way we're going to get mm. bailed out of our houses. Yeah. Are they, are they, are they going to change? Well, I think that the problem with, with the, I'm in the suburbs. Yeah. I'm in a suburban area, very different than yeah, Manhattan yeah, yeah, real yeah. estate. So you can't, my client base is very different. Many do want long term. Quickly, are they going to want to buy eventually? I think so, absolutely. It's an investment that's going to take you know, time. <laughs> you we need and they do, they do in Bucks my, County. My whole goal is to crush the millennials, but I need them to bail me out of my house first. They will. Joan, thank you. <laughs> Nita, thank you very of course, much. thank you. Coming up, dispatches from the animal kingdom. We've got...